Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We've been fortunate enough to be able to push out quite a few videos here in the last few weeks, so we've got a new pattern for you. Uh, this is a pattern that I've had a had a great deal of success with fishing in the fall. I uh, decided to, we need to put this on some deep divers, deep little ends, and the DD-22. What we're going to be recreating this time is the dirty Sanchez color from Reaction Innovations. So, uh, really just testing it. I want to find out whether or not a crankbait can catch them as good as a sweet beaver. So, anyway, uh, hope you like this one. Come check it out. We're going to do some cool stuff with this pattern on the zombie Dirty Sanchez. Let's go spray some paint. So here we go. We're going to recreate the Dirty Sanchez color. A lot of different bait companies got this particular pattern. Um, don't remember seeing it in a crankbait line. So, you know, I've had a lot of success throwing this particular bait here. Uh, the entire month of uh, September, uh, October. Um, haven't got to do a lot in November. What we're gonna do, and the way I do most of my zombie lines, not all of them, we're gonna try it really two different ways. You tell me which way you like it the best. Um, on this particular deal, we're gonna go with the undertone. Actually, I think we're gonna do that on the DD-22. Uh, so instead of base coating that white, uh, we're going to throw down our chartreuse color as an undertone. I don't want an undertone on this one. On this one, or excuse me, the deep little end. We're gonna go ahead and white base coat this one first. We're gonna go more with the traditional solid color in the zombie line. And you guys get back to me. Please leave comments on which one at the end you like best. Okay, I'm sure a lot of it's gonna to have to do with your home waters clear versus stain, so forth, but. All right, so when we spray this uh, as a base coat, and then we come back over the top with a white, uh, what we're trying to do is get that light to somewhat pass through the bait and leave the belly clear and that undertone will kind of show through. Now, so see, I don't know if you can see that underneath how that yellow shows through on the belly. So, all right. So we're gonna we're gonna bring in our chartreuse just along the bottom uh, of that. Actually, no. We're gonna keep that top. We're gonna do it two different ways. Let's put it like that. Okay.
and we'll let that blend. Let's check on it. It's going to be pretty bright. Uh, we'll get the black speck in there to maintain it, tone it back. But I want it to be pretty bright. Um, I think it's about the same kind of chartreuse that I want. I'm using two fluorescent colors, so it's going to be really bright on this one. And with this one, we're going to go ahead and just remask it, and we're going to lay down the, the green pumpkin. So what we're going to do here is bring in the browns since we're going to have a really bright belly on this one. I need to bring this one up just a little bit at the back. Gotta grab the right color. stick on there. It's absolutely amazing how that one there we go. Get on there. Okay, so we got our green pumpkin, brownish green pumpkin here. And then we need to come back and we're gonna lay some of it in. With this and two, just kind of do a blend.
So we want to bring our little arms up. Kind of jacked up looking out there, isn't it? Or pressure. All right, let's come in and trace her outlines. mask at this point and we're gonna lay in our chartreuse belly on this one Now we're just going to really lightly, you can tell, I say you can tell, if you look up in there, you can see that undertone we put in there provides some of that chartreuse. We're going to get over the belly and just help it bring it out a little bit more, but really we've got a transparent belly. This is Some of my favorite lines of paint that I do. Mmm. That's gonna look good in the water. You got that fluorescent. Oh yeah, this is this is definitely my favorite. Sanchez, we got the pepper flake on the chartreuse as well, so we're gonna flip these around and we'll probably break it up too with a little bit of uh, give it some cross segments on that belly. And where's my
Good. Little pepper flake. Got to paint some black eyes on this thing. And we'll use our, uh, where's that, our little hole sizer. What do you think so far? I mean, let's get, let's talk about which one you like best. Transparent belly or the solid belly? Dirty Sanchez. And let's throw a few eyes on this thing. Let's see. All right, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Uh, we're calling it the uh, Zombie, Dirty Sanchez, Rich in the Zombie line. Good looking crawl pattern. Again, and it's a little bit brighter than the soft plastic. But that's really what I intended. So, what do you think? Old Dirty Sanchez coming out in the crankbait line so hey guys appreciate you stopping in hope you enjoyed the uh new pattern if you did make sure you give me a thumbs up smash that subscribe button we'll see you next week Thank you.